I want to tell you a true story that happened to me. I was living in Lakeside, just outside of San Diego. And we were living for our business on the side of a hill with 300 goats. And our neighbor was a retired officer in the Navy, and his name was Larry Rust. Larry was, was a nice neighbor, but Larry just didn't want to hear anything about God. I tried a couple times. He cut me off pretty short, pretty fast. So I never really spoke to him. Well, one day I got notice that uh, Larry got prostate cancer and he was in the hospital. He was in Balboa Hospital, downtown San Diego, Naval Hospital. And so I thought, oh no, I've never really talked to Larry about the Lord Jesus Christ before. He's got prostate cancer. So I went down there. I had my big black Bible and went down to Navy Hospital. It's the old Navy Hospital. And cancer patients were in the basement at that time. And I went down there and I saw the nurse and I said, can you tell me where Larry Russ's room is? She said, sure, it's over there. So I went down there and like I said, I was holding my big black Bible and as soon as I get into the doorway, I mean, I didn't even get into the room. As soon as I get into the doorway, Larry sees me, he sees my big black Bible, and he says, no, no God, no God, get out of here, no Bible, no God. And he was yelling at the top of his lungs, and it was embarrassing. And I said, okay, okay, Larry, okay, okay, I'm going, I'm going, I'm gone, okay. And I turned around, and I left. I figured, well, I'll give Larry a few days, and he'll cool off. And so I did, waited some time, went back, so I'll try again. And uh, I went there, found a nurse. I said, excuse me, can you tell me where Larry Rust is? And she looks at me and she goes, and who wants to know? I thought, this is strange. So I looked at her and I said, Tom? And then she looked at me and she goes, oh, so you're Tom. I thought, this is stranger. And she said to me, well, let me tell you something, Mr. Tom. I said, yeah. She said, Larry Russ died last night. She said, but all through the night, he screamed at the top of his lungs, Tom, Tom, where's Tom, where's Tom? Bring Tom, bring Tom. And I turned around, walked out. And I said to myself, that's not going to happen again. I'm going to make sure I'm going to get the gospel to people like Larry Rust before it's too late. 